Hello everybody, Wolf is here! And now it's finally time to do that icon setup rating video that I promised you guys. So, let's just start, I guess. So I posted two different tweets, one on Twitter and then one in the Geometry Dash group, which is a group that Uniper created back in earlier this year, I think it was. Yeah. So we're gonna go through all the icon setups that you guys have sent, and I'm gonna give them a score from 1 to 5. Yep, yeah, because 1 to 10 is just too much. So 5 being a perfect icon setup that I really like, 4 being a good, 3, eh, it's okay, 2, not a big fan of it. One, I don't really like it. So let's go! And we got the first one. The cube color and shape is Imagination Core from Roblox LOL. That's actually a pretty creative blue box yao. So I really like that one. It gets, it gets a plus point from me. Uh, when it comes to the UFO, not really a big fan of it. But the spiders. And the ship looks really cool. I'll give this one 4 out of 10. Oh no, no I mean 4 out of 5. <laughs> yeah, I usually don't pay attention to diff effects and trails and stuff, so we're just gonna leave that out. Then we got Semzoid, a loyal fan. Ooh, you got the Eric Van Wilderman icon, but it's black. It's a bit of a combo between Eric Van Bilderman and the Michigan Colors. You seem to have a pretty good setup there, I'd say. Not sure about the wave though. I like how that one looks like a Stormtrooper. This one gets 4 out of 5 too. I like the color combinations. Dark red with Cayenne. The ship, the ball looks really cool. Everybody seems to be using that UFO. This one gets 4 out of 10. 4 out of 5. Made this yesterday. Tons of classics in here. Yeah, you got that icon as well. I like the color setup. It's a lot of nostalgia in this one. With the old ship. Then you got that ball, which is cool. I think I'll give this one 3 out of 5 just because you use a lot of mainstream ships and stuff like that. Like that one and that one. And Hassan, 444, you are back. You were mentioned in like my previous video, I think it was. Yeah, the previous video. Good to see you again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This looks really nice. You got that one, and the ball, and the ship. They kind of match each other with those spiky designs. This is a bit of a minus though, so I gave this one um, 3 by 10 just because you have the standard here. God damn it, I'm turning on the fan. Let's turn it down to 1. Okay. Looks like an okay icon setup. Same thing here. You're missing these two. I mean, it's nothing wrong having basic, but yeah. 3 out of 5. Use the same ship as me. You got this icon. It really matches the dark grey and the light grey. 4 out of 5. That star. Hmm, you use the same icon there. To be honest, I don't think those colors match each other that well. The ships are kinda cool. I'll give this one 2 out of 5. Okay, got yellow and black. Maring. I really like, they kind of match each other, the black and the yellow, and I really like how you use a robot, or like a mechanic type of robot and a mechanic type of UFO. Same with this one and this one. This one does not really fit in, nor does this spider. It's a pretty cool, so 4 out of 5. Hmm, you got a similar concept here with the Roblox logo. I think I will give this one 3 out of 5. 
Everybody looks so tired with the white and black reversed like Look at this UFO, it looks so creepy, same with this one and this one. I really like it. Honestly, I think you should have had a robot and a ship being one of those types as well, even though it's my ship that I use, which is my favorite ship. It's pretty creative, so I give this one... This one gets 5 out of 5. You get full points. GMB4. Oh nice, I see some texture pack stuff here. This looks really cool with like plants crawling into it and this one looking a bit damaged. The wave is a bit minus. 4 out of 5. Oh, yeah. I like the icons you use, the colors look pretty cool as well. Even though they kind of remind me of a certain GG player, which I'm not gonna mention here. But anyway, so 4 out of 5. Hmm, I see you use the theory of everything 2 icon. I like how the balls of these three match each other. Actually, those two match each other pretty well. Those three match each other pretty well. And those two match each other pretty well. I'll give this one 3 out of 5. Hmm, seems like the similar setup that we saw before. You got the regular wave. Many people seem to be using that ball for some reason. I'll give this one uh, 2 out of 5. Honestly, I mean, could be better icons. They don't really match each other that well. Oh, this guy made a video. Okay, you got a glowing effect. You got a reverse ship. The gear ball. Okay. Okay. And the mini icon. Well, that was a pretty okay icon setup. I'm not really sure about the ball though. Honestly, I think I'll give this one 2 out of 5. Then we got the next one. I mean, I guess the icons are okay, they kind of match each other. However, I don't like the purple red color combination. I know, they just simply don't match each other. I think I'll give this one 3 out of 5. I mean, if the color combination was better, it would have gotten a way higher point. But I mean, you're pretty cool to use these colors anyway, since they're pretty rare. Okay, we got a dark cat, the bat UFO. They seem to be having a lot of dragons and cats and bats and stuff like that. And the wave looks really sharp. Uh, I'll give this one 4 out of 5, just because you used a regular wave. Orange. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the green-purple combination, much better than red-purple. You got the sword, you got that ball, that UFO, that ship, that icon, that robot, that spider. This one gets... Four out of five. Alright. You got the electrodynamics icon. If I remember correctly. And you get that ship, that is a really cool ship. Why does everyone use this UFO? What's so special about it? I mean, use the clown UFO stand, if you have it. <laughs> Seems like a regular setup. I'll give this one 3 out of 5. Yeah, that's a 3 out of 5 as well. I could just Twitter account just for this. Yeah, that's the spirit. Okay, 82 comments. Oh lord, this is going to be a very long video. Hmm, nice. This looks very similar to that other icon setup that I saw before. Purple and light blue kind of matches each other. Ship kind of looks pretty cool. I think it's a cat. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll give this one uh, 4 to 5. Bruh, that icon. And you got the derpy ship. It's a pretty new icon setup. I'll give you 3 out of 5. I'll give you an extra point for that icon. It looks derpy and funny. Okay, mm -hmm. I see you got another UFO. We got a sword. That could be a bit of a circus thing. Same with this one. And seahorse and everything like that. You 
do use the mainstream icon though, so that's 3 out of 5, I would say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like your icon, not many people use that one. The dragon kind of fits with it, then you got the blocky UFO and all that. I mean, it kind of fits each other, like evil dragons and monsters living at a mountain, blocky mountain. Yep. 4 out of 5. What happened to the face? Other than that, they kind of match each other. I give this one 3 out of 5. Um, those kind of match each other, that's pretty nice. Seems like a pretty new icon setup. I give this one, uh, yeah, it's got 3 out of 5 as well. We got the toad icon. I like the heart in the bowl. And the robot looks like it's laughing. And the scorpion. <laughs> 4 out of 5. Seems like a mainstream icon setup. Like everybody uses that one. This one gets 2 out of 5. This one, since you're using unique icons here, like this one and this one, I'm giving this one 3 out of 5. Eh, 2 out of 5. That's my Akonos, dude. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Once again, here, use these three, which are pretty mainstream. I really like the robot and the wave though, and uh, that one. You'll get 3 out of 5. That almost looks like Axel. <laughs> Not a big fan of that ship though, but you're creative for using it. Not many people use it. 3 out of 5 just because you use that one and that one. And those kind of match each other. Okay, we got a green creeper. And a ship. And a demon UFO, or a clubstep UFO. Yeah, those kind of match each other. Like references from other games. 4 out of 5. Masoni 64. I like how you use the ghost types of icons. Then a portal and another ghost. This one gets um, 3 out of 5. Yeah, uh, just because the color blue and white. Eh. No offense, my home country. <laughs> one of my home countries. This, however, looks a bit cooler though with a darker blue. And you got the steam icon, that ship. I really like that ship. And the Halo robot kinda matches the type of theme that you use here with ships and stuff. So I'll give this one actually 5 out of 5. It's a really cool setup. Hmm, that's a unique color combination. I really like what you did there. You used the warm, this one. I mean, it looks like a nasty like spider or muddy icon setup. Don't really like the white there, but I guess that's just the icon. So we're not gonna throw any points off because of that. But I like the colors in this one. 5 out of 5. Okay, you got two different ones here. I like this one. The colors, the icons that you use. You use the angry icon. This one gets 5 out of 5. However, this one, not really a big fan of the colors there, and I use that icon, so this one only gets 2 out of 5. Ta -da! Oh damn, unique icon setups here as well. I see you use texture pack, so. Yep, 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 yep. I like what you did with the textures on those, like especially this alligator. I'll give this one 5 out of 5. Ding, 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 ding! This is it as of right now. Okay, you use that icon. You use the same colors as Juniper. Juniper. I got a seahorse. Got this temperature finger dingy ball. These two seem kind of mainstream, but I like they use the ones with spikes on. Same with the UFO. And this one has spikes on it too, I guess. I give this one 4 out of 5. It's a good icon setup. Ooh, that's a spooky icon setup. 4 out of 5. Okay, let's see. A unique choice. Mm. 
and oh man, the dark red and the yellow really fits each other. It's pretty creative with this icon and then the UFO and ship and spider. 5 to 5. Kevin, 530. Mm -hmm. Luton icon, that Nighty Coins icon, ball. They use the same mainstream UFO. I mean, this icon kind of reminds me of that one Lego that existed like 12 years ago. Power Miners, I think it was called. The colors are eh. The blue and the dark, blue and gray. Eh. I'll give this one 3 out of 5. It's an okay icon setup. Slightless Rain 12. Use white and light blue. Hmm, not really a big fan of the blue looking like this. I'll give this one 3 out of 5. Nice texture pack there. The wave, eh. 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5 there as well. 2 out of 5. I guess you use those and those icons. Eh. And we've already seen this one a lot. Okay, you got that one, the scissor, it kind of fits in, like those two have been cut by the scissor. But this, oh, 3 out of 5. I think we already rated yours. Uh, the colors are eh. You do use the mainstream here, 2 out of 5. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the glow though that you use, but yeah, uh, 1 out of 5. But how can you give 1 point when you use the same icon buffies? I can. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? This one. I like the glow in, in the icons that you use. Even if the ship and robot doesn't have it, they still look pretty cool and fit in with it. So, 5 out of 5. W or L. Oh yeah, Geo Blitzy, I've heard of you before. I've seen you in Estes Lace videos, I think. In the comment section and Unipair. Use that ship and use that UFO, we haven't seen that one before. Use the Tarzan Monkey Spider. And this icon as well, which is unique. And it looks even better with your profile picture. You know, being an evil side and a good side. 5 out of 5. That's a W. Shields. GD, mainstream, mainstream, unique, mainstream, and this one doesn't really fit in with the blue colors. 2 out of 5. Oh damn. Yeah. Then you made the Turtle Spider into a Gengar. Actually, isn't that like one of those Mega Gengars? And the ball. <laughs> What's happened with the ball? I give this one... Uh, 4 out of 5. Hmm, orange and white. Kind of unique. I'll give this one 3 out of 5. It's a normal icon setup, but you do use that UFO. Okay. I'm not sure if I can <laughs> rate that one. Since it's not a setup. I mean, if it was a setup, just an icon, it would be 1 out of 5, but. I mean, it kind of fits in with your profile picture as well. So yeah. But I don't really think I can rate it. 1k stars, finally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unique UFO. It's a regular icon setup, so... 3 out of 5. Wait, 5 minute crafts? Don't you have like... Millions of millions of subscribers? Okay, but I think we're gonna pause the video here. I will continue in the next video, which will probably be like a combi video where I rate the remaining icon setups as well as, you know, doing some level requests and stuff like that. Yep, but if you like this video, then don't forget to press on the like button and subscribe and also leave a comment down below because in the future or starting from the next video, I will be doing shoutouts. So I will shout out two random people that leaves a comment and you don't need to comment like please shout out me just comment something uh, random if you like the video comment nice video if you got a question just just write a question down below yeah 
but I will start doing shoutouts, so don't forget to leave a comment down below. And also follow me on Twitter, follow me on Storyfire, the links will be in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching, bye bye!